Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, welcome to your general reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. So Scorpio, you guys have been on my mind like all day. I just, I keep on hearing Scorpio. Hmm. I kept on, I just kept on thinking about you guys, but I hope everything's okay. Let me see what's going on with you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. General reading. General reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Mm, yeah, the Five of Wands came out, right? Um, Seven. I knew something was going on. I knew something was going on with you guys. <clears throat> it's so crazy how I connect with my my viewers, my subscribers so much that I can literally sense I can sense when something's going going on in their life. Let's do that again. Uh, Page of Swords. Okay. Devil on the back. You, a lot of you guys, your spirit has been telling you something. And it just depends on how intuitive or spiritual you are some of you could just be kind of ignoring it or some of you you know your spirit's trying to tell you something but you're having a hard time pinpointing what it is you just feel like something's going on behind the scenes but you don't know like you don't see it right it's not in your viewpoint it's it's almost like it's in your blind spot whatever it is that's happening you have the devil that's here okay the devil represents toxicity this is, you know, someone who may, or you could be the one doing this, Scorpio. You could be the one doing this, or it's someone who you know doing this. So apply it the way that it happened, if it is resonating. If, it, if what I'm telling you is not resonating, do not force it. You're welcome to go and watch my other readings here on my channel, okay? Don't force it. But... This could be you, this could be someone who you know, but the devil, there is darkness around this individual. They could just be in their really dark side. Um, the devil represents toxicity, like toxic traits, like someone who is obsessive, controlling. They want dominance at all times. Someone who, I feel like this is a person who's being ruthless is what I'm hearing, ruthless. And even here behind the devil, you have the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles represents persistence. Someone who is putting in some sort of work, action to get what it is that they want. But what is it What is it that they're putting in this work, this effort? What, what are they doing? Because the devil is here. So I don't think it's something good that they're working on. Like the seven of pentacles, you see this person has raked up these leaves. So someone has been working on something to get the outcome that they want, to get what it is that they want. But their attitude is not very nice because even here with the king of swords, this is someone who can be very cold, very cutting, very mean, lacks empathy. The king of swords is known to be an excellent communicator, but he is not. And I'm saying he because it's a king. But remember, these are energies that anyone can embody. But with the king of swords, this is someone who is an excellent communicator, but he is not the warmest communicator. This is someone who has a sharp tongue. This is someone who knows how to argue, who knows how to communicate things to you that will really hurt your feelings. This is someone who is in the mood to fight. This is someone who wants victory, who wants to conquer you, but it's not in a good way. Clarify the five of wands. The hermit. 
Two of Wands, Eight of Cups, Two of Swords. Ace of Swords is here, Three of Pentacles. I'm gonna take the Ace of Swords. Tell us more about this Five of Wands, Nine of Cups. Tell us more about this Five of Wands. Someone here is just being very greedy and selfish. Look, Five of Swords is literally a selfish card. Someone here is doing what makes them happy and they don't care how it, it will affect other people. Clarify the Five of Wands. of cups is here okay so the five of wands represents commotion chaos drama clearly there's a conflict going on here because you see these five people they each have their wands they're each fighting amongst themselves in clarity of the five of wands you have the hermit the hermit represents isolation it's almost as if someone is trying to cause drama to bring you out of the hermit energy there's someone here who's trying to stir drama with you but you may be ignoring it because the hermit is someone who is in like think of like a hermit crab right hermit crab they isolate themselves you could be ignoring this drama, you could be healing, you could be resting, you could be reflecting. But I feel this individual is like picking at you to get a response out of you. Two of Wands is here. The thing is though, you've made a decision to not participate in this drama. The Two of Wands is someone who has made a set decision. You've made some sort of confident decision because with the with the two of wands you had an option you could have chosen to go back to this person argue with them or choose peace and you choose your peace and perhaps that is why they are very upset at this this person is like in their very they're in their darkness right now eight of cups the Eight of Cups represents someone who is no longer investing into a past situation, someone who's no longer investing their time, their love, their effort. And you invested a lot of your energy into this, a lot of your love and time because the maximum cup is 10 and you invested eight cups. So you definitely, you definitely gave this your all, excuse me. Two of Swords is here i feel like you're in this mood where it's like i don't want to hear it i don't care leave me alone okay i i feel like it i feel like once upon a time you were open to getting the truth or hearing someone out but now you probably saw their true color and you you're in this like protective mode i guess um clarify the seven of swords Yeah, Seven of Cups, you're choosing something else. The Seven of Cups is someone who is trying to make a decision, someone who needs to make a wise decision. You've chosen your new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. This is a divine grant of an abundant new beginning. You've chosen to leave this person behind with their drama. Yeah, Five of Swords, you are choosing yourself. The Five of Swords can come off as someone who's selfish, but I'm seeing this as you prioritizing yourself, you giving yourself what is best for you, hence the justice, because by dealing with this individual, there was an injustice. You do not see any form of progression. You're not optimistic when it comes to this individual because it seems every time you do try to work things out with them, they just explode on you. They do not want to take accountability for anything. So trying to confront this individual, 
expecting an apology from them, you're going to get the opposite. This is an individual who, who will like flip the script on you, blame you, guilt trip you. It's just not worth your time. Um, you have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is clarity. Aces, Aces represents a divine grant, right? Like, like divine intervention. The divine had to show you the truth about this individual because you may have been um, holding on to them due to this concept. You had an idea of this individual that you fell in love with, but they are not who you thought they were. And so the universe came in and brought you the truth and brought you clarity. The Ace of Swords literally represents truth and clarity. So you're here as the Nine of Cups. You're feeling very good. Good. I feel like when I when I looked at the Nine of Cups, I heard bold. You're feeling good. You're feeling bold. You're feeling sharp. You're feeling very like there's this. I, I really feel like you 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 now know your worth, and you are just you are just like what's the word like um, fierce. You are fierce right now. That's the perfect word to describe you. You know your worth. You know what you bring to the table and you bring a lot to the table. Look at the nine cups here. The maximum cup is 10. You have all nine. You know, you bring, you are the table pretty much. And you had to remind these people or this person of who you were, of who you are and the power that you hold. And I feel like when you made it clear to this person that you know your worth, that you won't tolerate their nonsense, that you know your power, that absolutely enraged them. And even here with the Nine of Pentacles, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is someone who is single, independent. You are flourishing. You have, so you're not just the Nine of Cups, but you're the Nine of Pentacles. Very blessed, very abundant. You have endless opportunities awaiting. You know, some of you could be very financially abundant. You have a great job or a great career and you're really focusing on yourself and this person does not like that. So they're stirring some sort of drama behind closed doors. They're stirring drama. They are stirring dr drama. You even have the three of cups that's here. Clarify the three of cups. Outsiders may be involved. Let's do that again. Outsiders may be involved. Clarify the three of cups. Yeah, this person, what is this person's problem? Like this individual is really triggered by you, but I don't feel like you did anything wrong, Scorpio. I feel like you just took back your power and they are so upset. You probably confronted this person. You told them the truth or something. Tell us more about this three of cups. Whatever they're trying to do to you, it's not fair. Whatever it is that they're stirring, this drama, it is an injustice for you. The, the magician, yeah. Like this individual could be like trying to, because the three of cups could either re uh, represent a, a celebration or a third party situation. So this individual could be lying on you. They could be getting people involved to defend them and go against you. This is just a nasty, dark energy that you're dealing with. They're so not worth your time. Do not give this person your, your, don't even give them a reaction because at this point you made them feel powerless. So any reaction that they can get out of you will make them feel very powerful. When I clarify the three of cups, you have the nine of wands, which is a wounded warrior. Tell me more about this nine of wands. I do feel like, tell us more. What, what, what's happening to them to make them the nine of wands? Tell us more. Oops. I hate when I do that. One second, you guys. Let me shuffle better. Tell us about this Nine of Wands. Clarify the Nine of Wands. 
I, I also feel like this person is being exposed. They're being seen for who they, they truly are. Like they can't, yeah, the wheel of fortune, karma's kicking their behind. Oops. One second, you guys. Look, the car is wrong. Karma is kicking their behind. And this is just not a good time for this individual. And I see why they're kind of projecting onto you. They're, it's like this person is trying to blame you for everything. Like, uh, it's Scorpio's fault. Everything is Scorpio's fault. No, nothing is your fault. This is someone who does not know how to take accountability, Scorpio. They don't like confrontation. They don't want to change. They just want to screw people over and get away with it. I feel like this individual, like with the Wheel of Fortune, this is karma here. I feel like they're being exposed. Something's going on in this person's, it's something's going on in their personal life. And that's why they're here as the Knight of Wands. I kind of feel like they're being excluded. I feel like they're being excluded from their like friends, some sort of group of people. I feel like people are going against this individual. And that's why in return, they're so upset with you. I kept on clarifying the King of Wands came out. The King of Wands is someone who is very defensive. They are embodying the King of Wands energy because other people are going against them. They're the wounded warrior. The magician is here. This person wants to flip the script on you about something. They will do anything to not have to take accountability. Clarify the magician. The magician, yes, this can represent manifestation, but it can also represent someone who's very deceitful, someone who gets victory through deceit, someone who wears a mask, they lie, they manipulate. Clarify the magician. This person is trying to get out of trouble because karma has striked them. And so <clears throat> people are seeing them for who they truly are. Like I, I saw people excluding this person. It's almost like they're being, um, what's the word? Like, not abandoned, uh, not disowned. Like they're being rejected socially. People are going against them. And I feel like it's because they're true color. They can't be a magician anymore. They can't hide who they truly are to people anymore because this person was putting on some sort of facade. The magician is an illusionist, but people are seeing through their illusion. That's why they're so defensive here. But you see how the three of wands, it's like they're looking towards you. They're looking at you. Why are they looking at, at Scorpio? Why are they looking at Scorpio? Uh, you know, it's like everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart in this person's life. I, I, okay, what's happening here? The karma that has striked this individual is causing them to realize that perhaps they are experiencing these downfalls in life due to what they did to you because this person's life is going downhill people are rejecting them severing ties with them people are seeing them as the magician no one really wants to deal with this individual and now they're looking at you being regretful but i always emphasize to people that regret and remorse are two completely different things usually people feel regret when, they, when they've been exposed, when there's some sort of backlash, right? That they have to take remorses with or without being exposed, with or without backlash, you know that what you did was wrong. You know? On the back, you have the emperor. What, whatever's happening to them, it's kind of making them take charge because I know the emperor can be very controlling. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. I know the emperor can be very controlling. This person did not want to take accountability for something that they did to you. And that's when the universe came in and strike them with karma. And so things in their personal life went downhill. Wow. That's why they're so angry with you because it's like, uh, for some reason, they're putting their anger on you. Um, but you have, you have the emperor, you have the death. 
So this individual is finally choosing to take action towards you. The emperor is not passive nor submissive, but the emperor can be very controlling. And you have the death. So they're trying to come back towards you with the death. They're trying to leave these people behind because now they don't have any support. That's what's happening, you guys. Of course, they're, they're the death. Of course, they're leaving their past behind because their past has finally seen who they truly are. So they don't have anyone. Now they only have you. But this is also the same person who is very angry with you because it's almost like they're blaming you for what they did. They're blaming you for this karma that they're getting. Something happened here where you may have spoken to this individual recently you try to confront them or you wanted some sort of apology, whatever it was that you're trying to do. And they slammed the door in your face. They slammed that door hard in your face. They were ruthless with you. So the universe was like, okay, you mess with the wrong person. We try to give, I feel like the, there was some sort of brief reunion that happened and the universe was hoping that this individual would apologize to you, but they didn't. So the universe strike them with karma. So this person has no sense of direction. And now they're here as the death having to forcefully go through an ending from their past. And now they're trying to come towards you as an emperor. This is someone who's very arrogant. I'm going to be very honest. This is someone who's very deceitful with the moon. They were not loyal to you. They did not take accountability for what they did to you, Scorpio. They did not. So that's what the moon is here. The moon is saying, be careful. Because for a lot of you, this person backstabbed you. Ace of Cups, now they want a second chance at love. They want a second chance with you. They're coming towards you as the Knight of Wands. Of course, they're a knight. They're very immature. Eight of Swords is here. I feel like the Eight of Swords is representing that this is someone who got themselves into some sort of mess from their past. Because the Eight of Swords is someone who's like mentally stuck. Let me see. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Clarify the Eight of Swords. That same, I feel like this person is in a lot of distress. They feel abandoned, but for a lot of you, this is what they made you feel. A lot of you, they abandoned you and they left you in this Eight of Swords energy of feeling mentally stuck, feeling like you're in some sort of prison, mental prison. I wouldn't wish the Eight of Swords on my worst enemy. But the will of fortune, hence the, the it's a karmic will. What goes around comes back around. What they made you feel is how they're feeling now because they're being abandoned. Three of swords represents heartbreak. Wow. I don't know what this person last, like some, it's something about when you last spoke with this individual and they did you really nasty. They did something really, really wrong and, and hurtful. And that's when the universe was like, yeah, it's time. Strike the tower. Clarify the Seven of Swords. This person is not trustworthy at all. Clarify the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords represents sneaky behavior. Someone who did something sneaky and they tried to get away with it. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, this is you. <laughs> Scorpio, what are you doing? I feel like you're you're kind of sneaking away from this individual because you may have tried to reconnect with them, hoping that they would give some sort of apology or something. Um, but they, you know, it blew up, it blew up in your face a little bit, you know, because they didn't give you that. And so now, like with that two of wands, you definitely chose yourself, you chose your peace. You're moving forward, clarify the seven of swords, but now this person is behind you. Now this person is after you. <laughs> clarify the seven of swords. The high priestess. Now, so this is what you're doing. This is definitely your energy. Like I said, Seven of Swords. Look at this sneaky person trying to escape, right? Trying to get away with something. I feel like this is you. You're the Empress. I feel like you had a lot of love for this individual and you wanted to really 
care for them, nurture them, help this individual. But like time and time again, they would just slam the door in your face. Now you're moving on, but you don't know that this person is right behind you. They're right on your tail. And I feel like you don't want them anymore because you saw their true color from the last interaction that you had. But to them, you are their go-to person now that no one from their past wants them. <laughs> you have the world. The world represents completion. You know, I feel like you've, you've really accepted the past for what it was and you've chosen to go towards your new beginning. But I feel like this person is now on to you. Now they're kind of obsessing over you. Ten of Cups. You're running away from this Ten of Cups connection that you thought you had with them. You know, once upon a time, you could see yourself establishing a future with this individual. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is someone who's very intuitive. Um, you could even be very spiritual, spiritually in tune. You could be uh, spiritually gifted. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you literally have this person now on your back wanting to reconcile. Let me see, clarify. Because the Ace of Cups represents a second chance at love. This is what they're wanting. But wait, clarify the High Priestess. So you manifested this at a certain point of course scorpio the high priestess literally represents the sign of scorpio so this makes sense with the star here you manifested this you can sit here and say dream i don't want this person at a certain point you did <laughs> at a certain point you wanted this person badly so here they are now here's your manifestation but you don't want them. Seven of Wands, you're like, get away from me. <laughs> Seven of Wands is like, you are trying to get away from this individual. But the, the Ace of Cups, the universe is saying, this is what you wanted, right? Look at the hand from the universe. The universe is saying you wanted the second chance. So here they are. Clarify the Page of Swords. Six of Wands, clarify the Page of Swords. Oh, Knight of Swords, King of Cups. Excuse me, clarify the Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. Can't make this up. Six of Cups literally represents a reunion, Four of Wands, redemption. So the Page of Swords is communication from a distance. So this individual is going to send you communication if they haven't already. This person could even be watching you from a distance, keeping tabs on you, or watching you through social media. In Clarity of the Page of Swords, you have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands represents victory. They're going to be coming towards you very swiftly with the Knight of Swords. They're here as the King of Cups. They have strong feelings for you. Mm. This person is very emotional when it comes to you, but I feel like this is you were also dealing with, with someone who was a player or they were just playing lots of mind games. Six of Cups represents a reunion, Four of Wands. They want a commitment now. <laughs> wow. So what are you going to do? Wow. Um, I'm definitely going to do an extended... In the extended reading, we're going to... Uh, reveal the backstory about what happened to this individual that is now causing them to want to be with you all of a sudden, right? Something, there's some sort of chaos here that happened because when this person comes towards you, I don't feel like they're going to be honest about what it was that happened to them since that moon came out, which represents secrets, deception. 
So in the extended, if you're interested in watching it, the link is in the description box. Like I said, we'll definitely see what this commotion, conflict, drama is that's happening in their life that is suddenly making them want to be with you, okay? So thank you so much, Scorpio. I really hope this reading helps. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you so much. Take care.